An emergency meeting is in the works as the town of Lakeside tries to figure out what to do. Its police chief and town clerk were both arrested yesterday. Police Chief Robert Gordonier, who is also the deputy mayor, and his daughter, Brenda Hamilton, the town clerk, were both indicted by a Jefferson County grand jury and are facing numerous felony counts for an alleged car flipping scheme exposed by a CBS News Colorado investigation last year. Our investigator Brian Moss led that coverage joins us now. And what are the next steps for Lakeside given all these criminal charges against two of their top administrators, Brian? Mac, I talked today to the town attorney for Lakeside here. He said he's moving quickly to try to set up a special meeting next week with the equivalent of the town council here. They're called trustees. He said he needs to do that because they might have to take action against the police chief and his daughter in light of what the town attorney called very serious indictments. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say on it. When we confronted Robert Gordonier last year about what we had found, he essentially confessed. Does that sound like a sweetheart deal to you? It sounds like it to me, yeah. Months of our work showed Gordonier had repeatedly signed bills of sale, selling town vehicles to his daughter for just a few hundred dollars. And according to this grand jury indictment, his daughter Brenda Hamilton then turned around and sold them on the open market for thousands more than she paid. I think that there was just too much opportunity, and that led to a lot of what actually occurred. There wasn't enough checks and balance. Jim Poloni was Lakeside's assistant police chief and said he tried to correct what was going on, notifying town officials, but he says nothing was done. When things are not being run properly or there's corruption, that there's individuals in the organization that will step up like myself and do the right thing. In the grand jury indictment, Prosecutors repeatedly wrote that the alleged embezzlements and thefts were only discovered when CBS Colorado reported on the transactions. In one case, Gordonier sold a low-mileage Ford Fusion like this to his daughter for $1,000. Prosecutors say she turned around and sold it to a man in Wyoming for $12,000. The indictment says Hamilton pocketed thousands by selling the town vehicles. How do you get a car from this town for $1,000 and then you resell it for so much more? I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Brenda Hamilton said she did nothing wrong, but didn't really elaborate as she refused to talk to us. Jim Poloni says the indictments are nothing to celebrate. You know, it's, it's not a happy day, it's a sad day because it's unfortunate that I had to come to this point. Now, uh, attorneys who are representing Gordonier and his daughter have not responded to our uh, multiple requests for comment on all this. Gordonier and Hamilton are both out on bond, and they are both set to appear in court in the first weeks of August. It's also important and relevant to note at this point that one reason they need to have a meeting here of the town council soon is because both Gordonier and his daughter are still on the payroll. Reporting live from Lakeside. I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First. Well, Brian, thank you so much. A story